if you're balling on a budget, it doesn't matter what you heard. There's still plenty of awesome comic books out there for you to add to your collection. And I've got 10 of the hottest comic books on the market that won't break the bank. So go grab your Vibe Juice and meet me back here in the comic room. Happy New Year, everybody. It's time to do what we do best, and that's talk comics. What's up, everybody? It's been 12 days, and I'm back like I never left. Welcome back to another episode of You Know, Keep It Comics. As always, I am your humble host, C3. Happy New Year. Thank each and every one of you for stopping by checking out the channel. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, ring the bell. So every time I drop a video, you wonderful people will get that notification. We're going to talk about 10 hot comic books that you may want to add to your collection. So if you're balling on a budget, these comics won't break the bank. All right. So at the list at number 10, we're going to start off with another hot book. This book is just released just this past week, and the title is Kid Venom Origins, issue number one. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the one in, this is the one per store variant, right? So if you calculate how many comic book shops there are in the United States, they all got one per. Um, this price has been eh, somewhat fluctuating uh, on the secondary market, but it's up 8.15% increase in copies that have sold. The average price for a raw copy right now is at $40, all right? Now, I've seen it for as much as $69 on eBay. Um, total recorded sales so far is $119 with a high sell of $60. Now, again, if you're balling on a budget, fair market value has this book rested at $40 for a raw copy in near mint condition. It's a hot book. It won't break the bank for those who are boiling on a budget. So definitely keep your eye out on this book because it's moving on the secondary market. Kid Venom, Origins, issue number one. All right, at the list at number nine, locking down the spot strong. We're going to talk about Fall of the House of X, issue number one. This is the Art Germ 1 in 50 Virgin variant of Magic. Yes, my friends, this is a beautiful book. I've been watching it ever since its pre-sale came out. Um, it's doing quite well on the secondary market. 12.25% increase in copies that have sold. Average price for a raw copy right now is $97. There are no graded copies of this particular book right now because it's new. It just came out. But there has been a total of 19 sales so far, all right, with a high sell of $150. And that was back in October 14th of 2023 fair market value has this book resting at 97 dollars for a raw copy in near mint condition all right and make sure you guys like subscribe share ring the bell i drop a hot list like this every week i'm here for the love of the hobby for the love of the comics and you already know it's good vibes only ladies and gentlemen so check your nonsense at the door we are here just for the love of the hobby now, at the spot on the list at number eight, we have to talk about another hot comic alert, hot cover alert, whoop, whoop, hot cover alert, ladies and gentlemen. The title of this book is Shazam, issue number seven. Yes, my friends, this is that David Nakayama 1 in 25 variant, Mr. DNA himself, all right? Now, this is a strike while the iron is cold book. This book is currently down 2.61%. Average price for a raw copy is $44. Now, there are no graded copies of this book right now because it too is a fairly new book, but it has a total of eight sales that has taken place thus far. We had a high sale of $50 that also took place and fair market value has this book resting at $44 for a raw copy in near mint condition. I love David Nakayama's artwork, very efficient, uh, very very identifiable. Whenever you see it, you definitely can tell his artwork uh, apart from anybody else's. Very distinguished. So if this is a book that you're looking to add to your collection, please feel free to strike while the iron is cold. And yes, as I always say, it's okay for you to buy a book just because of the artwork. It is absolutely all right. So Shazam, issue number seven, 
Keep your eye out on it. The David Nakayama, 1 in 25. It's moving on the secondary market. At the list at number seven, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know about you, um, but if you're a Predator fan, this joint is crazy. I'm talking about Predator versus Wolverine, issue number four. That 1 in 25, Josh Cassera variant. And man, that book is fire. Just the aesthetics alone. When you stare at it and look at what's going on in this visual, the Predator looking at his trophy wall full of Wolverine heads. Come on, man. <laughs> Are you kidding me, man? How many times has he killed the Wolverine? Look at the wall. Fire. This book is insane. The visuals itself are just insane, right? So this, too, is another strike while the iron is cold opportunity. This book is currently down 1%. Not a lot, I know, but yet still, you can save a dollar on this purchase, all right? You can save a few pennies. So average price for raw copy right now is $36. There are no graded uh, books on the, on, on the census yet because this is a new book also. Total sales recorded for this book, 53 sales taking place thus far. With a high sale of $60, and that was back in November of 2023. Fair market value has it resting at $36 for a raw copy in near mint condition. Um, the images of Wolverine, head and claws on the wall, man, just sick. Definitely one for the collection. I'm probably going to grab myself a couple copies of this one. So if you see it out there and you're interested in it, feel free to do so. All right. Predator versus Wolverine, issue number four, the 1 in 25, Josh Cassera variant. It's moving on the secondary market. So keep your eye on it, ladies and gentlemen. At the list at number six, we have to talk about Punisher, War Journal, issue number seven, the first team up of Punisher versus the Wolverine. Yes. Now, I can't actually speak to, well, I guess I can't, how I feel about this book. I think that's a, a, myth, a it's a mix it's a mismatch, right? When you put the Punisher up against the Wolverine, I mean he's got the gun and everything, but Wolverine, you know, healing factors, claws, adamantium, all of these things come into play. He come on, man, it, it's a no-brainer. But nonetheless, the comic community has spoken. This book is hot. It's up 3.7 percent. Average price for a raw copy is $6. Average price for a greater copy is $89. Now, last recorded sale for this book was $84. We've had a total of 722 sales taking place on this particular book so far. Back in 2022, there was a CGC 9.8 that sold for as high as $312. But like I said, these books won't break the bank. So fair market value says you can get your hands on a raw copy in near mint condition for $6. All right. So if you're in the market for Punisher, War Journal, issue number seven, keep your eye out on this book because it is moving on the secondary market. And speaking of moving, man, we must have been moving right along because we have already made it to the halfway mark. Yes. So allow me to take this opportunity, stop, catch my breath. And thank each and every one of you for chiming in and checking out the channel. Thank you to all my new subscribers. And if this is your first time stopping by, please consider subscribing to the channel. It really helps us out a lot. And the more likes we get, the further out it pushes the content and we're able to reach more people. So feel free to hit that like button. All right. And if you guys are going to stick around to the end, I'll show you some comic books that I picked up this past new comic book day. And I also got something in the mail that I don't, I wouldn't mind sharing with you guys. All right? Absolutely. So, oh yeah, before we go, your trivia question for this week is, where is Gambit from? <laughs> it's as simple as that. Leave a comment in the comment section. Who knows where Gambit is from? I can't hear you. Leave it in the comment section. Let's chop it up. All right? It's your boy C3. I appreciate you guys for checking out the channel. Let's get back to the list. And we have hit number five. All right. Number five on the list. Star Wars fans, this one is for you. I know you didn't think I would forget you. How could I forget you? I would never forget my Star Wars fans. We got to talk about Star Wars High Republic issue number one. This is the first appearance of Vilder Matt. Uh, Mathia, Kathleen, and it's a host of others in this particular book. This book is full of first appearances, right? So, 
This book is up 60.68% increase in copies that have sold. Average price for a raw copy is just $6. I know, absolutely a perfect price point for buying. Six bucks for all these first appearances? You can't go wrong. And it's a good read? Comment down below. How have you guys been feeling about how they've been flushing out these new Star Wars characters, giving us more backstory, filling in some of these blanks. What do you guys think? I'm enjoying it myself, right? Average price for a graded copy is $40 for this particular book. We've had a total of 272 books that are sold on the secondary market with a high sell of $121 for a CGC 9.8 that sold back in March of 2023. All right. Again, this book won't break the bank. Fair market value has it resting at $6 for a raw copy in near mint condition. All right. So please, Star Wars fans, chime in. Let me know what you think. How do you feel about uh, them giving us this extra backstory, just flushing out the Star Wars universe, adding all these new characters, expounding on old ones? Let's talk about it. All right. I appreciate you guys. That one's for you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, comic book community, at the list at number four, we've got to talk about Spawn, issue number one, and this is Todd McFarlane, cover B. <laughs> and let me correct myself. Yeah, this is a blooper, but I'm going to leave it in there. It's King Spawn, issue number one, Todd McFarlane, cover B. And this is the first appearance of Comox. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this book is up 61.41%. Average price for a raw copy is $5. Average price for a graded copy is $44. Todd McFarlane has been doing a phenomenal job about building this universe, these characters that he keeps coming up with, and he's telling an awesome story. I've been reading Gunslinger Spawn. I've been reading King Spawn. I read Spawn itself. I'm not too... Thrilled about Scorched, right? But I have read it, and but I kind of like backed off of it. But these other three titles, I'm enjoying them tremendously, right? King Spawn, issue number one, Todd McFarlane, cover B, hot to death. Storyline is definitely one that you're going to want to check out. Um, last recorded sale for this book was $14. Total sales, we've had 545 books that have changed hands on the secondary market so far with a high sale that took place back in August of 2023. Uh, CGC 9.8 sold for $100. That's not bad. You know, depending on what your budget is, that's not that bad. <laughs> Fair market value has it resting at $5 for a raw copy in their mint condition. So, no one is doing it like Todd McFarlane. You have to admit, you know, I, 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 I put him right up there. Like, he's right in that area with, like, Mr. Stan Lee, rest in peace to the king, man. But he's doing his thing with flushing out this Todd McFarlane universe, all these Spawn characters. He's doing it big. I have to give him his respect, man. Hopefully one day I'll get an opportunity to meet him and just to shake his hand and tell him how much I appreciate the work he's doing on such a, a, a tremendous character. I've been watching uh, Spawn ever since Michael J. White played him in, the, in, in, in that little movie that they put out back in the day. And I've been a big fan, uh, fan of Spawn ever since. Man, so shout out to Todd McFarlane, King Spawn, issue number one, cover B, first appearance of Comox. It's on the move. Get yourself one, all right? At the list at number three, ladies and gentlemen, The Man Called Nova, issue number two. Absolutely. This one had to make the list. It's the first appearance of Gandor and Power Man. Of Condor and Power Man, Power Man. Excuse me. This is the first appearance of Condor and Powerhouse. <laughs> I'm going to get it right. Hold on. That's what it is. I needed a, vip, a, I needed a sip of vibe juice. Tongue tied. <laughs> it's the first appearance of Condor and and powerhouse. <laughs> there, I said it. <laughs> All right. 67% increase in copies that have sold. Average price for a raw copy is just $8. Average price for a graded copy is $100. Don't mind me. If you're new to the channel, I'm always like this. I'll get it together one day. <laughs> or, or maybe I won't, but <laughs> we're going to make it through this together. All right. 
total sell <laughs> total sales recorded for this book 547 copies with a high sale of $510 for CGC 9.8 that took place back in June of 2019. Now, this is definitely an opportunity for you to land a book of this quality and high grade for not a lot of money, all right? So, A Man Called Nova, first appearance, two first appearances, Condor and Powerhouse. Back in the day, it sold for over $500. Right now, you could probably get your hands on a super high grade of this book for $100 and maybe a little bit more, between $100 to $200 tops. You know what I mean? So, perfect buying opportunity for this book. That's why it's on the list. It won't break the budget. So, keep your eye out on it because it's moving on the secondary market. Ladies and gentlemen, at the list at number two, let's talk about one of my favorite comic books, Spider-Verse. Issue number one. And this is the first appearance of Spider Zero, Spider Monster, Lord Spider, and a whole bunch of other spiders. I don't know about you, but there's just way too many spiders for me to be trying to keep up with. So I'm just trying to collect them all. <laughs> collect all the spiders. You ever seen a, a, a spider's egg when it hatches? You know how many spiders are in that thing? Neither do I. I just know there's a lot. And when, they catch, and when that little web catches the wind, they're just everywhere. But yeah, whole lot of spiders in the Spider-Verse. So here's another book. Why not try to grab this one too? Check the numbers out on this one. It's up 70.51%. Uh, average price for a raw copy, $11. Average price for a graded copy, check this out. Just $37 for a nice graded copy of this book. There's been 448 copies of this book that has changed hands on the secondary market. And we had a high sale that took place back in 2022 where CGC 9.8 sold for $200. Now that back in 2022. So that, that price has come down considerably. Now, even though it is in the positive and the increase in copies that have sold, the price itself has come down considerably. So it can be considered a strike while the iron is cold moment, if you like. It's a book, it's hot, the numbers match up. Listen, if you are a Spider fan, and like I'm a Spider fan, I see this as an opportunity. Fair market value has this book resting at $11 for a raw copy and near mint condition. Can you feel the love? <laughs> Of course you can. Of course you can. You wouldn't be here if you couldn't feel the love. I love the hobby. I love collecting. I love sharing this information with you. I'm not here for any other reason. It's good vibes only, ladies and gentlemen. Be sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so that every time I jump up here, you guys will get that notification. So whenever I drop a video, you'll be the first ones to get it. All right, now, you know what it is. It's time for us to talk about the number one book on the secondary market. And that book is Peter Parker, Spectacular Spider-Man, issue number 24. Oh yeah. All right, this is the first appearance of Hypno Hustler, right? <laughs> now, if you're into music and hypnosis, this one's for you. <laughs> well, think about it. Music is nostalgic. It takes you to a place. It kind of like hypnotizes you. Anytime you listen to music and you get caught in that trance and you want to, yeah, you kind of like hypnotize. So this one's for you. Don't, you know, whatever. <laughs> uh, the Peter Parker, the Spectacular Spider-Man, issue number 24, first appearance of the Hypno Hustler. Uh, Average price for a raw copy right now is just $19. Average price for a graded copy is $409. This book is all the way up 155% right now, my friends, with a total of 450 copies that has changed hands on the secondary market, with a high of 650 that took place back in January of 2023. That was for a CGC 9.8. Now, Fair market value has this book rested at $19 for a raw copy in fine condition. That won't break the bank. If you can't purchase that $400 book, that $19 raw copy is right there for you to get your hands on. Uh, because music is hypnotizing and so is 
the Keep It Comics community. Yes, we are, ladies and gentlemen. All right, y'all. Remember, leave a comment in the comment section. Where is Gambit from? Who can tell us where he's from? I don't know. I'll let you tell me. All right? That is your list. Go out, execute, be safe. Don't hurt anything. Don't let anything hurt you. Never mind FOMO. Don't pay no attention to it. There's no fear of missing out. Because if you're balling on a budget, stick to the budget. Never jump out of the airplane without a parachute. All right? Enjoy. Now, as I promised, I'm going to show you some of the comic books that I picked up this past week. So, listen to the music. The music! Okay, I don't want to get copyrighted. <laughs> All right, so check these out. I'll show you what I grabbed. It's not a lot. It's not nothing crazy, you know? But some books that I think is worthy of adding to my PC. You may want to grab them if they're still out there in the wild. I hope everybody had a good holiday season. I know I did. Spent it with the family and really enjoyed it. Yes, good vibes with the family. The wife and the kids. Shout out to my uh, baby sister. Came up from Texas. Love you, babe. My nieces. Love you, Uncle Babies. All right, let me show you guys what I got. I grabbed Batman issue number 141. This beautiful Joker's cover right here, man. Now that is just exquisite. Like that. Oh, yeah. Again, it's okay for you to purchase comic books if you're just grabbing it for the art. This one is definitely one for the art collection. Although I have been reading this Batman series, I kind of like fell off it a little bit. When they kind of water, they start watering down a lot of stuff, man. You know, not that it's not a good story, but Sadarsky kind of like ebbs and flows with me, right? But this one has a great storyline in it. But I really grabbed this particular book right here for the cover, right? But I'll show you what it looks like on the inside. It's got some good art. Got some good art. Yep, and the bats has got itself in a bit of trouble. So it's definitely one I want to add to the PC. But yeah, but this one was strictly a cover purchase for me. Next book I picked up, and I haven't started reading it yet. I'm just grabbing them as they come out because I'm going to sit and read them all together. But I've been reading uh, Harriet Tubman. Well, I've been grabbing Harriet Tubman, Demon Slayer, and I like this one. I'm going to see what it's about. There was another cover, but I grabbed this because this was a wanted, this was like a wanted poster of her. You know, and, and I can kind of like see that from back in the day that she would have a wanted poster, uh, wanted poster for herself. All right. I also grabbed Venom, issue number 29. And this looks like that Spider-Man homage to that Spider-Man cover. Yeah, with Venom's holding his, yeah. Yeah, Venom's holding Spider-Man's head. So I grabbed that one. I also grabbed cover A. A lot of symbiotes too, man. Not for nothing, but there's like tons and tons of symbiotes popping up all over the place. We got Kid Venom. Oh my goodness. And I think this is that one per. <laughs> How'd you get that, C3? Whew. Well, I think my guys like me. Yes, the guys at my comic shop, I think they like me. So I was able to get my hands on that one per. All right. I'm going to try to get me another one too. I'm just waiting for that price to come down a little bit. And always keep in mind, man, like you don't have to jump at nothing. Prices go up, prices come down. I mean, it's like it's like a, a, a valleys and, and peaks and all of that, man. All you have to do is be patient. You, you don't miss out on nothing. All right. We got Spider Boy, issue number two. Yes. 
Taskmaster in the back, Captain America. Got Dan Slot on that. He's doing all right with it. Nothing crazy. Here we go, Star Wars fans. High Republic, Shadows of Starlight. I'm actually going to read this one when I'm done with the video. Can't wait to see what this is about. I've been enjoying this Star Wars series. Vengeance of Moon Knight, issue number one. Solicitation of a new uh, Moon Knight. Yep, that one's dope too. And I grabbed that character variant. Yes. That'll probably be the second one I read because I want to see who the new uh, Moon Knight is. And last but not least, this was also strictly a cover by um, Galactus. What is this? I don't even, this is Fantastic Four, issue number 15. Let's check this out. For some reason, that didn't sit right. That was really just a cover purchase. So, what is it? Yep, Fantastic Four, ladies and gentlemen. Issue number 15. And I copped that one just for the cover. Galactus is coming. Can't wait for him to hit the big screen. All right, so that's what I grabbed from the comic book shops. All right, I'm going to set these aside. And then I'll show you what came in the mail real quick. All right, set those there. How about if we put them right here? Can you guys see those? If you want to look at them, right there. I got a box that came in the mail. So let's pop it open and I'll show you what it is. All right. And remember, leave a comment down below. Your trivia question for this week was where did Gambit come from? Where is Gambit from? Where is Gambit from? And for all my Star Wars fans, how do you guys feel about the way they've been flushing out this new Star Wars universe, giving us more backstory, adding these new characters, and giving us more backstory on older characters? What do you think about that? Let's talk about it. All right. Here we go. Oh yeah, here it is, padding, padding, more padding, I'm not mad, not even a little bit, there we go, alright, hit it on the side right here, Yes, <laughs> you know it, the old comic book between two pieces of cardboard trick. <laughs> now, snip a little piece of tape, perfect, peel back, I like that they left the little pigtails up there just to help us out. Perfect. Oh, okay. Excuse me, live juice. Sorry about that. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. We have Superman. Issue number nine, Nathan Zerdy, The Silver Banshee. Mm. 
If you remember, we featured this on the list a couple of weeks ago. If not that past list, last couple of weeks. As I've always told you guys, I don't just put a list out and say, hey, you guys buy this book, buy that book. It is a list that is comprised of comics that I myself are interested in and are going after. And yes, I got my Superman issue number nine. Isn't she lovely? Strictly a, a, a cover purchase, strictly for the artwork. Nathan Zerdy, dope art. Definitely have to have it. So I had to grab myself one. If I'm not mistaken, I think this is the one in 25. Correct me if I'm wrong. Leave a comment in the comment section. But I had to have this one. Yep, had to have it. She's a beauty. All right, ladies and gentlemen. There she is. Perfection. One for the collection. Perfection. One for the collection. All right, guys. That's my time. I got to get out of here, get some rest. You know, tomorrow's a whole nother day. But you know what I always say. Don't hate. Congratulate. Show some love. Because that don't cost you nothing. Appreciate. But no matter what you do, comic book community, <laughs> always keep it comics. Later, Gators. You know what it is.